These are some of the more than 9,000 Iraqi refugees in Belgium who received a letter this week signed by Immigration Minister Theo Franken. It told them Iraqi applicants are unlikely to be granted asylum in Belgium unless they're from an area held by ISIL and offered them 500 euros each to go home. That's about $570, double the previous payment incentive. Many here have already had their applications rejected, and they are furious. We did not come here looking for money, okay? When I was there, I was, I was having a fancy life, to be honest. I have everything in there. All I wanted in here is a safe place, not a money. Belgium is not safe anymore after what happened in, in Brussels. So my short message to the Belgian uh, government, is Iraq safe anymore in there? We are getting two or three explosions a day. The European Parliament is currently drawing up a common European list of what it deems safe countries, meaning people from those nations could be sent back. But some refugee advocates say they fear it will include countries with very poor human rights records. Belgium classes the Baghdad region as safe, but stresses the cash is only aimed at people choosing to go back. The International Organization for Migration has helped more than 1,500 Iraqis return home from Belgium voluntarily since September. I would say a misunderstanding. They really hoped for something else in Europe. There was also some information that was not correct, and they hoped that once they are here in a very short time, they'll be able also to get their families here. Uh, on the other hand, also others that had expected that once in Europe they will have a possibility to work and all these kind of things. Things that then when they arrived here they noticed that they are not as they really had hoped to. These protesters say they do want to stay in Belgium, but unless the government changes its position on the safety of Baghdad, it's unlikely they'll be able to do so legally. The Belgian government has given Iraqis until May 31st to leave the country or they won't get the 500 euro bonus. But they say the scheme isn't intended to be coercive and everyone taking advantage of it has simply decided life in Europe isn't for them. Elena Casas, CCTV, Brussels.